Do you have too many chiefs and not enough Indians as you are working to supersize and grow your business? Sharon Horn else from here. I want to do the rest of the month of July, I believe, on leadership, the topic of leadership and idioms that are related to the topic of leadership. And one of my favorites as I was going through the list I, I started to put together for the rest of the month is one that my dad used to say all the time. He worked in corporate America and ran businesses on the side. I wonder where I get it. Uh, throughout his career, throughout his professional life. And he would often say, we've got too many chiefs and not enough Indians. So he might have been talking about work, life in corporate America. He might have been talking about one of his business endeavors or entrepreneurial pursuits. Or he might have been talking about our household because I had, grew up with three biological sisters and a whole slew of other girls and, and sisters that were always around our house. And so I think he felt slightly outnumbered. Even our dog was a, was a female. So there was my dad and then all of us girls, including my mom, because my mom's a tiny little petite woman. So he was always surrounded by girls. And I think sometimes he felt like he was the only one out being the chief and all of us wanted to be the chiefs, right? We all wanted to be the boss of everything, the boss of ourselves, the boss of the world. And really there could only be one chief, one boss, one director of or leader of the family and both he and my mom shared that role but for the most part my dad was the one that went out and worked my mom stayed home with us girls and so actually I guess they were both the chiefs the chief and the and whatever you call the the co-chief but this idiom has different forms it's been around since the first half of the 1900s and although it talks about the organization of Native Native American communities it is not considered prejudiced or racist. Now I'll probably get some comments and people say, how can you say that that's racist? It's not racist. It's like too many uh, generals and not enough soldiers. Or another version is too in the food industry is too many cooks, not enough chefs. When we look at corporate America, in corporate America we see it when we, we can use this expression to describe a situation where Everybody wants to be the boss or the leader of the team or the project, but nobody wants to actually go out and do the things that need to be done to get the project completed. Uh, saw this a lot in corporate America where everybody wanted to manage a project, but no one actually wanted to implement the project, do the things that needed to be done, or lead the smaller groups of tasks that needed to be done to complete a bigger project. I think installations of... Uh, information systems used to be or new software programs used to be huge because it affected so many levels of the organization and most people uh, you know wanted to lead it but they didn't want to be the ones getting their hands dirty doing the actual work uh, let me see one thing I, want, I had an example written down that I thought was pretty interesting um, and well the, you know it's too many people who want to run things and not do the actual things or the work that needs to be done you know when too many people want control too many people want to manage. So we see this in, in businesses, and we, we might see this in yours. In one of my businesses that I was creating, I formed my leadership group, my management group, my board of directors first, and then was had to go out and actually run the organizations that we were, we were doing some mergers and acquisitions. We had to run those organizations. And the challenge with the group that we had formed, the team we'd formed already, was that nobody wanted to go out and actually run the businesses that we were acquiring. They wanted us to hire a manager for each of those or somebody to go out and actually do the work of turning these businesses around so we could then turn around and sell those businesses. Uh, seen it in organizations where they're just getting started. Sometimes when there's a, you're starting something or in entrepreneurial small businesses, the owner, the original person with the idea, the founder, tends to be wearing many, many hats. That's an example of too many jobs and not enough resources to actually complete all the tasks that need to be done as we grow and build our business. So if you're the person, and I'm definitely guilty of this as well, doing too many things, that's an example of too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Too many people that want to run the show and lead the, and direct the show, but not actually act in the program, act in the show. So I'd love to know your experience with this particular idiom or expression. Have you ever heard it? Have you ever used it? Guarantee I have used it. Use it in my own house with my kids when they were trying to have a mutiny and think that they should run the show and not do what they needed to actually do with respect to friends or activities or schoolwork or projects. Uh, I definitely have used this one. And I've probably used it 
you know, throughout my career and throughout my, my entrepreneurial life. But I like to use it as a cautionary tale and a reminder to myself when I am wearing too many hats, when I'm trying to do too many things myself that I know I should delegate, that I know I should get help with, that I know I should uh, team up with somebody or ask for help on. And we're going to talk about leadership for the next, for the rest of this month, I think. And of course, the definition of leadership is just the art of motivating a group of people to act toward achieving a common goal. We see this in business, we see it in our lives when um, we're, we might have to direct people or give them, uh, them instructions or teach them how to do certain things in order to implement a strategy or do something that we want to do in our business, such as supersizing and growing our business. So look for leadership. If you've got any idioms that you love or hate about leadership, share those in the comments below so I either cover them or don't cover them depending on how you you uh, see them but otherwise I've got a list already uh, mapped out for the rest of the month and I want to talk specifically about idioms related to leadership share in the comments below your experience with this particular idiom and I will of course be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom about leadership what does it mean where does it come from and how might you use it to supersize and grow your business right now take care